morning everyone and welcome to another Morning Markets here at True Potential. Now as we head towards quarter end we thought it would be interesting to bring in Paul Durham's Investment Director. Good morning Paul. Good morning. And Paul's going to help us set the scene for the rest of this week, starting with equity markets and broader markets in general yesterday Paul. Excellent. Yeah, so yesterday we saw more mixed returns from equities after last week, a very strong week for global equities in general. Uh, UK equities continued to push higher yesterday, and that was led by commodity-related stocks doing very well. Commodities, as we've talked about in previous episodes, have been softening over the course of June, so we've seen a bit of of a rebound, and that's helped UK equities yesterday. Um, What we saw in the US, we saw a little bit of weakness, very marginal, after a very, very strong week, uh, and particularly on Friday where we saw the biggest one-day gain uh, for the year. European stocks were also higher, up nearly 1%, and that was led by technology stocks. In bond markets, global government bonds were weaker, as you would expect with equities being the preferred asset yesterday. Now, in data terms, it is a relatively quiet start to the week, but we did get some data out of the US in the housing market. Would you like to give us some colour there? Absolutely. So in the US, housing market has been showing some signs of softness in recent weeks. And if we look back over the last two years, house prices are up over 40%. Um, So it's been a huge benefit for those homeowners. So we have been seeing some softness and more market participants have been talking about the US housing market rolling over. Yesterday, we got some data um, which showed that the US housing market is still showing resiliency. And so we had pending home sales up 0.7% month on month which was much better than what was forecasted, down 3.5%, and the previous month were down 4%. And this follows on from uh, another piece of data on Friday, which is new home sales. That was up 10.7% for May. So really a really positive number uh, coming through. Um, and this is it, th- there's a lot of focus on the US housing market because it has a big impact on the broad ec- economy. Um, you know, four percent of GDP, U.S. GDP is construction, but it filters into uh, home furnishings, uh, and so there's a lot of attention on this. Um, what we'll w- markets are still expecting, though, going forward for the U.S. market housing market to soften, like here in the U.K. If we look at thirty-year uh, fixed mortgage rates, they've jumped uh, in recent months up to five point five percent from. Uh, 3% over a year ago. Now, and also that, that, that um, housing data came alongside some very strong data in the durable goods market. So there is still that strength there, as in the housing market you said, but also in the industrial sector. So that there, there are positives there. Now, you did say it was a strong day on Friday. Yeah. Now, that really encapsulated the high volatility we saw last week. In order to continue this equity strength into the end of this quarter, what do you think we need to see this week as we go forward? This week we get um, inflation from Europe, Germany tomorrow, uh, Italy and Spain on Friday. Uh, We've got US inflation as well coming through on Thursday and also we get an indication of prices within survey data coming through on Friday. So there's a lot of data coming through. What the market will be wanting is data, inflation data to at least be in line with what was forecasted, but what will really drive markets if inflation comes in lower than expected. Thank you, Paul. So there we go. So we've got inflation coming towards the end of the week, which could be supportive for equities. If we can see some signs of cooling, our markets can be able to look beyond that peak. Please do join us tomorrow as we look to update you on European inflation. Thank you. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level, or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ISAs and pensions. These are available in the video description below.